this class investigated ideas of green design because in the future when we're running lower and lower on natural resources but we're going to have a surplus of things that have been thrown away and old products that are still around but they aren't being used anymore we're going to increasingly need to use those products to reinvigorate life into them and bring them back to a state where they can be used. We got the plywood and the glass both at resource and the wing is actually a recycled part from a, a kind of like a graveyard of old plane parts and my concept for this um, project was to have the wing flying and so the wood at resource represents, represents this chunk of earth, heavy and thick. And then the intermediate space is actually flying with the clear acrylic. Um, 20 year old banister for a redwood deck. And I took it apart into its various pieces and then decided what I wanted to make out of it. This actually turned out to be a bonsai presentation table. Um, I chose this because the redwood has, is one of the customary materials for making um, Japanese woodwork. And then from there I did some investigation into Japanese woodworking techniques. This was made using no fasteners, uh, no screws, no nails. It's all wood to wood connections. Just reusing recycled material makes you like appreciate the material more and uh, it's just it's pretty awesome how you can take something that you know, someone else threw away and was kind of dirty looking or whatnot and really make like a beautiful piece of art. And I think that's the way building is going to have to go. I think that's the way a lot of design is going to have to go these days. And I think this class is a really good start to like how you kind of address these issues and how you can really like begin thinking about how to reuse materials and what they can do and push them to their limits.